Hi guys, this is Sydney and today I'm going to be talking about my long distance relationship. If you didn't know, I am currently in a long distance relationship with a boy named Charlie. He lives in England, about 4,000 miles away from where I live. I live in America. We have been together for a year and two months. We met through a mutual friend. Um, in March of 2015 and we started dating in April. We met for the first time in person in December. We got to spend nine days together. It was right after Christmas. We were able to go to many restaurants. We got to make a Build-A-Bear. We went shopping. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it down below. I encourage you to watch it if you are kind of confused about what this is about. I decided to make this video just to update everyone on how our relationship is going and what we have planned for the future. So I've received a lot of questions about when is he going to come back, are you guys still together and stuff like that. With us being 4,000 miles away, it's not easy for us to just see each other all the time. So I'm super excited to announce that he will be here on June 18th, which is 13 days from today. This time, instead of nine days, we get to spend 29 days together. Last time he was here, we had so much fun, but there's not much you can do in December because it was cold. So hopefully when he comes this time, we'll be able to spend time outside. We'll be able to do a lot of swimming, going to the beach, um, water parks. Um, his flight leaves at 11 a.m. his time, which is 5 a.m. my time. There's a six hour time difference. It's going to be a very long night and morning. So I like to stay up with him just to make sure he gets there fine and everything's okay. Um, so I will be making a vlog about that. I am hoping to make a lot of vlogs from now on, not only about my long distance relationship, but about trips that I go on or just anything. Yeah. So his flight will come in at 10.45 my time, p.m. It's kind of late, but the airport's only 30 minutes away from my house, so it makes it kind of easier considering last time he came into an airport that was two hours away from my house. So yeah, we're going to spend two days here at my house, and then we're going to be driving to Disney World to spend seven days. We're staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is a beautiful resort. Disney World is my favorite place on earth. I'm hoping to make a vlog series for Disney World, um, uploading each day about what we did and where we went. And after that, we're going to be heading down to Daytona Beach, Florida for my dance nationals. I am on a competitive dance team. It's gonna be so much fun because Charlie will be able to see my dance team and we will also get to spend some time at the beach. After that, we are going to head back to my house and spend like 13 days or something like that here until July 17th. While he's here, we hope to revisit some of his favorite places from last time he really liked. Dairy Queen and he loves eating at KFC in America, which is weird because like he likes eating KFC in England. Other than that, he'll be here for the 4th of July to celebrate with my family. We usually go to my mom's hometown and celebrate there. He'll be here for my county fair, so we get to ride rides and eat carnival food and it's going to be so much fun. Then he'll be here for my birthday as well, which is in the middle of July. <laughs> If you have any more questions about Charlie and I or about a long distance relationship in general, please just don't hesitate to comment below because we may be making a Q&A video to just answer some questions or you can privately message me if you don't want it to be public. I know that when I first got into this relationship, I was really confused about how this was gonna work and I had great support from some other people who have been through the same situation that I have and I'd just like to say thank you to them because without them, I don't think I would have been able to stay sane. So if I can be that person for you, I would love that. I am willing to help anyone in this situation because I understand how hard it is. Me, out of all people from a small town in America, would have never thought that I would be able to meet someone that I met from England. And it's just amazing to think about it, that I have managed to keep this going and we hope to be together for Ever. I'm just super excited to see him again because meeting someone that you truly love and for the first time is so surreal. I had so many people telling me that what I had wasn't real. The relationship wasn't real 
and that you can't love someone if you've never physically met them. But the fact that I fell in love with him before I could even touch his skin, I think speaks volumes about our relationship. I spent nine months just getting to know him. How many people who are in a relationship with someone where they live can truly say that they spent nine months just getting to know someone before they could physically be with them. If you are in a long distance relationship, don't give up hope, okay? I believe in you. Please know that it is possible and you should not listen to what people say who doubt you, who talk bad about your relationship, who say it's not real because it is. It's so pure and it's, it's amazing. I I don't know, it's just I think it's amazing and I believe in you. I'm so excited to share my joy with the rest of the world throughout my vlogs and everything and I hope you all have a blessed day. Here's our Build-A-Bear. Her name's Charlotte and in her paw it says I love you Sydney. It's Charlie's voice here. <laughs> She's so cute.